Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over setting up G Suite with your hosting plan. And there's a few quick and easy steps to take uh, to get this working. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is we'll assume that you've already logged in the cPanel. So we're going to come down here to the zone editor under the domains panel. Go ahead and click there. And then we want to click manage. So the zone editor is where you can manage your DNS zones. So we'll go ahead and click manage. And then we'll filter by MX. And we can see here that the default goes to verotechdemo.com with a priority of zero. So what we're going to do is we have a guide in our KB. And we need to copy these records into cPanel. So we're going to go with the first one here with a priority of one. So we can just edit the default one. Set that as a priority of one. Click Save Record. And we'll come back down here. Look at the second one. There's going to be two records with priority five. So we'll go to Add Record, Add MX Record, Priority of Five. back and we'll copy the third one here add MX priority of five add that record the final two are gonna have a priority of ten so I'd add MX priority of ten Put that record there and then the final record will also have a priority of 10. So we do add MX, priority of 10, and add record. So now we have Google's MX records here. So the last, the la there's two more steps that we need to do. The second to last is we need to check the routing in the email section. So come down here to the email panel, click email routing choose our domain and we can see here it's set to remote now sometimes this may be set to automatic uh, detection your automatically detect configuration and this will either say remote or local if you're using a remote mail provider we recommend that you manually set this to remote mail exchanger in this case it's already been changed for us so we can come back here the final option that we need to modify is going to be the SPF record, and that's Sender Policy Framework, and that's for auth authentication for your email messages. Uh, it, in, in short, it basically says that your author, you know, the Gmail is authorized to send mail as your domain, uh, and it, val it validates the, those messages. So we can come down here to email deliverability. We can go ahead and click on manage and we can see here. So this notice is saying that this system is doesn't control the DNS. And this is because we are using Cloudflare. So if you're using a third party DNS or Cloudflare or similar, you're going to need to copy your records to the provider or modify the records there to begin with. So we can come down here and we can see the default record here. So we see this doesn't include anything about Google. So we'll click customize. And then we're going to come down here to add new include. And then Google's SPF record is underscore fp spf dot google dot com so we'll paste that in there and now we see that we have google's spf included so we can click install customized spf record and we can see we still have this notice so in most cases you can disregard this notice and we'll come back here and we can go to the zone editor Click manage and we can now see that our SPF record includes spf.google.com at this point 
your DNS records and your M your your MX records and SPF records should be properly configured to use G Suite for your email. You'll need to ensure that your G your G Suite is properly configured on Google's end in terms of your domain and your email boxes there to make sure that everything is set up properly. Uh, that will conclude this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if this video was helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching.